Today, I'm gonna show you how to bake the all-in-one method chocolate cake with some chocolate ganache. And like my previous video, I hope to get in a lot of subscribers for this recipe as well. So, let's start it off. First goes in 2 cups of hot water. Pour that all up. Then goes in some unsweetened cocoa powder. There it goes. Some coffee powder for flavoring. Now the hot water helps to cook the cocoa powder and the coffee powder. Give that a good whisk. Growing up in Mysore, weekend cooking was always a family affair. Mom would take care of the main course, dad would take over the starters and the three of us would indulge in baking desserts. Anyways, we have our first batter ready here and this is how the consistency goes. Keep that aside and let's get our flour mix. In a sieve, first goes in all-purpose flour or maida, then goes in caster sugar or powdered sugar, then about 3 by 4 teaspoon of salt, then about 3 teaspoon of baking soda. In this recipe, I am not using the baking powder, so I am replacing that with extra baking soda which I have already included and some vinegar which I'll add it later on. Now if you don't have vinegar, you could replace that with lemon juice as well. So let's save all this out now. Keeping that aside to our slightly cooked cocoa and coffee batter, adding some unflavored vegetable oil. Then 3 teaspoon of vinegar that I had spoken to you about. Then about 3 teaspoon of vanilla essence. Now mix that well and then add in the flour mix while continuously stirring the batter. Now this is a trick to avoid creating those lumps in the batter. Gently do this until you finish all of that flour mix into this batter. Now sieving is usually done to get rid of the lumps in the flour mix. So if you don't have one, don't fret about it. Just spend a little extra time to get rid of those lumps while mixing it and making a final cake batter. The cake batter is finally ready and this is how the final consistency goes. Now I had pre-greased the cake container so I am pouring it all into this container very gently. Then give it a few taps on the table so it all settles down and levels up. Now I had preheated the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. We're gonna bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for 40 to 45 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make a chocolate ganache. I had heated some double cream on the stove just before boiling temperature. To that, I'm gonna add in the dark chocolate pieces. You could add in the sugar here, but I just love this very dark. Now, the heat of this double cream is just gonna melt that chocolate and give you that nice ganache. Cool it off in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes and our cake should also be ready by then. Ah, the sight of this cake just takes me back to my childhood memories. It's so soft and it smells so good. I'm just going to loosen up the sides of this cake and then place it on a container like this. Just press it down until it just pops up like that. For the cake sandwich, very carefully and gently cut the cake right at the center. Now this is usually done with two cakes but since I don't have two cake containers, I'm doing this with a single cake by cutting it in the center very evenly. See, I have two cakes here. Now I'm going to layer one cake with the awesome chocolate ganache that we have. This is how the consistency looks when it's cooled down. So I'm gonna spread it gently over with a spoon or you could just do it with whatever you have in the kitchen. Once it's a good layer like that, sandwich it with our other cake. Now that's my cake sandwich. I'm going to layer this with another layer of that awesome chocolate ganache that we have and then we're going to get to decorating our cake. I 
have a few strawberries keeping those green leaves just cut it at the center and place it on that cake now save some granulated sugar just for that nice contrast looks beautiful isn't it now let's just cut into this cake and show you that beautiful layers ah if you like this recipe you should definitely subscribe to my channel to look at more of my awesome recipes that are coming up this month